Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The last match of the day here in Ted Cup 11. Group D. Fortitude versus Shao Kai. Again. It's the rematch. The two met in the upper bracket. Fortitude won that series with 2 to 1. And now it's time for the regame. Decision of Group D. Who's going to take second place and advance into the next group stage? Behind Moon, who take first, took first place with flying colors. Farseer grand opening once again. Archmage by 40. No MK this time. Early tower, very early. Whoa. No way. Is it gonna go for the shop creep first? That seems crazy. What if he gets harassed? What if he loses the last hit? <gasps> Wait. Okay. If Jacques had crept this, this would have been the perfect start. Oh my god, this looks... I feel like this looks horrible 40. Alright, Zhao Kai. Checking the natural, nothing there. Checking the green, nothing there, and that's a bit suspicious. Wolves running to the main base, but the tower is almost finished. Farseer turning around. Oh my god, he crept the full camp! Double circuit for the Archmage, that's amazing. And it worked out perfectly because, uh, well, Zhao Kai didn't know this was happening. Didn't scout for it with a wolf. Seems like a mistake not to scout for it. it. Seems like you should summon the wolves here, and then one wolf goes up here to scout here, you know? Cool opening. But does cost a lot of lumber. One peasant's gonna go down. No, two peasants? Yeah, two peasants go down. Plus, of course, the arcane tower. A player's are under attack. I wonder if, with the double circlet, this makes the archmage pretty strong, if he should expand now? Or just tech? Tech will be quite late, of course. No third farm. No fourth farm, I mean. So it should be a tech. Lots of damage on this Farseer right away. Stutter stepping by Zhao Kai didn't seem to be perfect. And look at 40. He's looking very confident over here. He's calling the militia. He's going to creep the green camp now. That's not quite enough for three. Not enough at all, actually. And no farms yet for 40. Did he go boots? Yeah. Boots before farm. There we go. Clears the green. Good experience. If he gets this green, he would also reach level three. But that seems rather unlikely. Where are the farms? Fortitude was messing up pretty big time in macro earlier. There we go. At long last. Calling the militia again. This is still enough for level 3. A player's forces are Needs to creep this green still. Archmage was running around. I think he killed one headhunter. It's gonna be level 3. I am with some really strong items here. Oh! And he sees the grunt and the headhunter and snared! Oh my god, there's two free kills. Shao Kai showed some great denies before. Wow! Dude, his denies are amazing, honestly. This Archmage is extremely strong. Oh, he's got this proxy beastery, thanks to the footies running by there. We have very early spike barricades that does help against footies. But this might not help enough. Whew. Fosh is gonna have to TP out here. If the Archmage is adamant enough with the boots. Headhunter's in trouble in the meantime. One more hit. Doesn't TP! Yikers! 
Oh boy. Panda second. Let's go. I think this would have been a great game for a Beastmaster. And the thing is, Zhao Kai never would go Shaman. So, this level 3 Archmage with Water Elementals is always going to be good. Gives the ring to the Panda. I love to see that. And Zhao Kai might just lose here. Like, he might just straight up lose right now. <laughs> and he has at least one more Water Elemental, maybe even two. Next breath of fire, ready in a sec. Lot of damage. And that burrow's going down. Well, well, well. Oh, does he get that burrow as well? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, watch that metal goes down. Burrow stays up. There's more water elementals. There's gonna be another breath of fire in just a little bit. Now we have reinforced defenses. And the TC gets level two. Oh my god. Headhunter. Almost died. Panda going down, but he used all of his mana. He's only level one. It's fine to lose this panda. Cost him two stomps as well. At long last, it's level three for the fast here, but that's so late. Sir. Oh my god, I guess the burrow cancel. Hot damn. These items on the Archmage. So, so strong. And now we got priests coming. Adept training early. And breakers and sorks soon to join as well, I imagine. Really good game by 40. Really nice game. He's looking for the next borrow cancel. Oh my god, he's got the next elemental. Water Ellie ready. Oh my god, what a clinic. And that's something that 40 has shown for like years. This borrow push tactic. Way before even the Farseer Headhunter days. And that's a big lead. That is such a big lead. Forty could just expand now, I think, if he wants. I guess he can do whatever he wants. Panda didn't get that much experience yet. That is the one wrinkle in this game. Oh, whoops. So it's just an autocast. Not what you want. Control magic also here now being upgraded. Here we got the expo coming. Begin with potion for the panda. Very nice. Archmage almost level four. Very nice, but he's very hurt. Needs to be careful here with his AM. That's the one way that Zhao Kai can possibly still win this game. Kill the Archmage. And then kill the rest. But there's no stopping this expo. Players' forces are under attack. Very low HP, but does survive. Breath of Fire last hit. However, item goes to the orc. But I think this is an easy fight. And again, Zhao Kai just doesn't play Shaman. He just doesn't play Shaman. Never does. And I feel that's such a big weakness. 
We saw earlier with a Beastmaster and Archmage how strong they can be. We'd love to see more Beastmaster maybe in the following games. And now the Panda finally is getting the levels. I'm gonna pick up level 3 here. Expansion is mining. He's even got the tower. It's a bit consumable here as well. And Forge can just go into upkeep if he wants. Lumber mill, blacksmith. Everything looking wonderful for 40. Pushing again to the main base. Panda, Breath of Fire, not a bad against these buildings at all. Shao Kai wants to go for the counterattack, maybe, against the peasants. At least the wolves are going to go there, but of course there's a tower. One burrow goes down right away. Oh, and the Book of the Dead has been popped. Oh, that's very annoying as well. Tough to deal with. So much damage against the burrows. Then against the peons, he thought he was safe with reinforced. But he wasn't. Fortitude gets the next map win. That's three maps now that he was able to claim against Zhao Kai. With Zhao Kai only getting a single one so far. That was that crazy game on Last Refuge. Maybe that should be the focus again of Zhao Kai. Just try to make the game as crazy as you can. Maybe that can be the way to success. Thank you, Übergold, with the resub. And guess what? We are returning to the same map where we had the craziness earlier. And I wonder what we're gonna see there. Is it MK first again? Or has Fortitude lost the taste for the MK? What do you guys think? I'd be kind of surprised to see MK, honestly. It feels to me like he doesn't have that much experience yet with the MK first. And it is the Archmage this time. So a standard game. I'm sure Fortitude would love to claim the Shadow Priest here. But that's why we see the Peon up in the north. He's trying to prevent that Shadow Priest. By all means. He's ready to give his life. In exchange for the Shadow Priest. Oh, does he still get it? Oh, look at that. 40 pulls it off perfectly. Gets a Shadow Priest regardless. And that's a lose-lose situation for Shao Kai. He lost the uh, Peon, which means slow attack. And then the human still got the Shadow Priest. Thank you, Tom Tom. 
with a five euro donation. Thank you for consistently casting sunshine onto my screen. Well, that's my pleasure. No problem. Shadow Priest took quite a bit of damage, though. But the useful against the wolves is very strong. Just dispel the illusion. Also not bad. But now it's out of mana. He wants to get that aura fast for himself and the Shadow, Pre Shadow Priest friend. Somebody's lagging. Blacksmith and rifles. First time! Wait. Is this the first time he's playing rifles against Shao Kai? Well, I mean, that MK first game was kind of an anomaly. I don't think that counts too much. So many illusions, dude. Oh my lordy. Jao Kai's community experience pretty even, while also not allowing the Archmage to get level 3. This is a very tough level 3 Archmage map. So I think the early game for Zhao Kai this time, pretty good. Certainly much better than before. Oh, the Watch Elemental Block! Whoa! Whoa! That looked like Chemico. Very nice. What's the tech difference? 40 is actually ahead. The faster tier 2 here. And these illusions, so annoying. Especially on Last Refuge. God damn illusions. Should be removed, if you ask me. that. Farseer already level 3. 3.6 in fact. Dude, he is so high level. I think Zhao Kai is in a good position here. MK coming, TC as well. With the level 2 wolves, Zhao Kai can skirmish pretty well right now. But Fortitude could call Militia as well, which I think he should. To contest this camp, I think he should be calling Militia here. He's not doing it, though. The Archmage is still missing a little bit for that level up. Where's the Dispel? There we go. The spell's one. And here the Archmage gets level three. But the item goes to the Fossier. That's level four already. Picks out the big mana potion as well. And good retreat by Zhao Kai. Falls back. Doesn't lose anything else. And the Archmage not going water metal, by the way. Zhao Kai again not going Shaman. He just never, ever, ever goes Shaman, apparently. Right, now you must call Militia. This is where you have to call Militia. Just gonna give up the item? No. Stonebolt on the TC and secures the item for himself. TC, in fact, losing lots of HP here. When the next Stonebolt? Not soon enough. Militia arrive. A bit late. And the big mana potion used right away on the Foss here. To summon the wolves again to keep on creeping. And 
Frigid kind of wasting his time here. Going south, try to go for the merchant creep maybe, but sees nothing there. The creep efficiency, pretty bad by 40. He's being out crept pretty damn hard. Oh, look at that. Even trying to go for the red camp. Where's the MK? He's not in range, he doesn't have boots. It's gonna be three headhunters going down though. Oh, okay, that was expensive. Three headhunters and the TP lost. He got the Cloak of Flames for it, which is okay. Although the TC might just get focused down, targeted, and not have the chance to make use of all that DPS. Tier 3 is about to finish, though. Archmage also about to get level 4. That's a big level up. MK, not level 3 yet, however. Double ring, actually good for the late game. Forty could just crept this camp here for level 3 MK and pick up the big item. Again, the creep routes seem way off here. Oh, Shao Kai going for the tiny. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, the watch elemental. Almost saw it. I don't think he did. He sees the orc's movement, though. And that's perhaps a bit suspicious, considering the red camp is already gone. Oh, yeah, Forty's making a beeline over there. It seems like he knows. Shadow Priest, a bit more experience. Doesn't have an invul potion on the MK, though. Oh, an Archmage might get caught. There's no invul in the shop. If he wants to play it safe, he should go for Invul and Heal Scroll here. Goes for the Heal Scroll. But no Invul. This MK is vulnerable. Did 40 figure out about the expansion? It looked like for a second he did, but in the end, perhaps not. First Stone Ball doesn't lead to anything. And his TC is about to get level 3. Oh, 40. A town is under siege. This expansion might break his neck. But it's still a scary timing that he has here. But what a waste, man. This MK could have one more item and could have level 3. He gets level 3 here, thanks to the wolves. So does the TC. Kodo Beast gets gunned down quick. Oh, Invo Potion wasted on the TC. He's not gonna have that anymore. Heavy focus now on the MK, dispel against the Hex, and with that he survives and the TC goes down. And this might be the end for Zhao Kai in this tournament. He's got the expansion running, but can he still defend back at home? Perhaps not, but he's trying. He's got the Orb of Lightning, with which he's dispelling his own Hex, XD. Love the shop in the back. Still more on the Foss here. Oh, and a scroll of the beast. Only comes in now. This could have been even scarier earlier. MK always getting healed by these priests. The double rings actually turned out to be really nice. Stormbolt ready now. Stormbolt. And that's the kill. Fast you're dead. GG is called. And Zhao Kai dispatched here. Without difficulty by 40. And the two favorites prevail in the end. When we looked at the group, at the group, at the group ahead of time, Moon and uh, Forty looked like the big favorites here, and that proved to be the case today, indeed. And with that, our first day of the first group stage of Ted Cup Eleven is over. Moon advances in first place, and Fortitude in second place. Ted Cup is going to continue tomorrow at twelve. AM, noon, CET. Neo's going to be casting that one. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm going to be back on Sunday with Group B, I think it is, of the TED Cup. And if you guys haven't seen the groups yet, I can show you what is yet to come for us. Happy, Colorful, Ice Orc, and Hawk. It's going to be a fun group here, Group A. Group B, we're going to see Lin, Sock, Foggy, and Sini. Three strong players, plus Sini. 
and group C, 1 to 0, Kaho, Focus, and 15 Swain. This is probably the group of death. This is a group where anybody could make it through, but 1 to 0 and Kaho, probably the favorites at the moment. All right, and with that, I'm done for the day. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you again on Sunday. Neo is going to be back here tomorrow with the TED Cup. And don't forget, of course, later on tonight, we also have the B2W Weekly Cup casted by Carson at 7 p.m. CET. And now I will leave you and make myself some food. Until then, guys, take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.